guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make this super awesome chicken mushroom casserole but before we do that please go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos now let's get started so in a large pot we're going to bring 10 cups of water to a boil adding 2 teaspoons of salt into the water to help season the pasta so wait a few minutes until the water has actually come to a boil and now we're going to add in our penne. Now you can use any type of pasta. I'm using penne, but you can use elbow macaroni, seashells, um, just anything that's not long, like a noodle. So we're gonna boil this for about 15 minutes or so. Just keep checking to see once the pasta has softened. Stir it occasionally, just to ensure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. So while that is cooking, we're going to cut two chicken breasts into tiny cubes. So this is the size you're looking for. You could actually even go a little smaller. Okay, so our pasta is ready. So we're just going to drain it in the strainer and we're going to leave it there. And now in a large skillet, I am adding five cups of cream of mushroom soup. And to this, I'm adding one cup of milk, along with two teaspoons garlic powder, two teaspoons onion powder, one and a half teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon salt. And we're going to bring this to a low simmer and leave it for about three to four minutes. Decrease the chili powder if you don't like too much spice, but my family, we love spicy food, so I'm adding a little bit more. So take that off the heat, set it aside, and now I'm heating up some oil in a frying pan. And to this, I'm going to add in the cubes of chicken. I'm just gonna give it a good fry for about 35 to 45 seconds or so. And to this, I'm going to add in half a tablespoon of black pepper and half a tablespoon of salt. Now, of course, you can change these measurements according to your own taste. And we're just going to fry it for a couple of minutes until they start to brown. So now I'm using some frozen corn here, but you can use fresh. I'm going to add in two cups of corn, one cup chopped mushrooms, and we're going to continue sauteing this all together on a medium high heat. Okay, so we're gonna do this for about five minutes or so, and now you can see there's some water being released from the frozen corn I used. That's okay. For other dishes, you might have to dry it out, but for this dish, it is perfectly fine because the more liquidy, the better it is. And now we're gonna add this mixture into our soup mixture. So put your skillet with the soup back on the stove and just blend this all in together. Now you can take a little taste test and see how you feel about the various spices we added into this. Add in anything more that you feel is lacking. And once you're done that, add your pasta into this entire mixture. So it should become this deliciously looking creamy pasta. Now you can actually serve it as is. You don't have to bake this into a casserole. My family has also eaten it this way, just sprinkling some cheese on top like this and eating it straight. But I'm gonna take it a step further and I am gonna make it into a casserole. So here I have a 10 by 14 Pyrex baking dish and we're just gonna put all the pasta into this, flatten it out into a nice even layer, getting into all the corners. and then take your shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm using three cups here. I've also done this with Italian blend, which has provolone and parmesan, and I think that tastes amazing. So if you have that, use that. But if not, mozzarella is the way to go. So we're gonna cover this with some tin foil and bake it for 15 minutes at a 450 degree oven. And then we're going to remove the foil and bake for another five minutes. And this is the end result. It is ready and it is ready to be eaten. My family is so excited I made this today and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as well. Sprinkle it with some chili flakes and some parsley and some parmesan and it is awesome. So please hit that subscribe button, give us 
video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.